SSL makes SSL 360, which is an interface between your DAW and SSL plugins and SSL controllers. It's 100% free, and even if you don't have controllers, you can use it to mix with SSL plugins in your DAW. You can also control transport functions, play, stop, rewind, this type of thing. If you're having troubles with it, follow this guide to get it working again. So quickly, we go into the settings in SSL 360. We want the first DAW, obviously, to be Cubase. And for transport setup, it's very important that we do MIDI CC, transport link to DAW 1, plugin mixer link to DAW 1. Note that Cubase is linked to SSL V MIDI ports 1 to 4. And let's get Cubase into the picture. All right, and as we can see, go back to 360 mixer and I've got full transport control I shift back playback continues so let's peek into the studio setup and see what settings we need in Cubase to allow for proper transport control head up to studio and studio setup and then we are going to look at the Mackie control don't have a Mackie control, then add one. Remember SSL V MIDI ports? So this is where we go to core MIDI on a Mac and we choose our input as SSL V MIDI port one source and the output as SSL V MIDI port destination. The bottom section of Mackie control settings should look like this. All right, let's close that up and test transport functionality. Okay, all good. Flip back, still playing. Flip back, still playing. Fast forward works. All good. I would humbly ask that you subscribe to stay in tune with all the latest in pro audio news, technology, and techniques. We're approaching a thousand subs, and I'd really appreciate a like and a subscribe. If 360 is still misbehaving, then we're going to downgrade the software and firmware. Number one is make sure you don't see this. Those orange indicators mean that there is a software update and firmware update. If you're having any troubles with SSL at all, download the software and firmware updates and run them. Just follow the instructions. If you're up to date or experiencing issues after updating your DAW, then we're gonna try rolling back the software and firmware. We head off to SSL support site where they list all software versions of SSL 360. Go back one version and go ahead and download it. All right, and now we'll open the freshly downgraded SSL 360. There's a short initialization period. And then when it opens up, you will see those orange indicators that there's a software update. That's good. Leave it this way. We're going to stay downgraded at the moment. Now go back and test the 360 connection to your DAW again. See if the transport works. See if any odd behaviors go away. If everything works fine now, then stay at this software version for a while until they release another patch and write an email to SSL support. They're very responsive. After downgrading, you can re-upgrade your software and firmware again and see if the original issue comes back. You can revert back and forth between software and firmware safely. This is recommended by SSL support themselves. If problems persist after re-upgrading, then you're gonna to have to re-downgrade and stay at that level until SSL gives you a solution. And there you have it. SSL 360, I love using this. I load up all my tracks with SSL 4K channel strips, the meter plugin, and the SSL bus compressor, and just shift over to SSL 360 and, and control uh, the channel strips faders, solos, mutes, sends from one interface. It feels just like using a console. 
If you guys are interested in getting more SSL stuff, I can't recommend enough. The Slate SSL Complete Access Bundle gives you all SSL plugins, all Slate plugins for $16.67 a month, plus an extra 10% off using my code. Follow the QR code or the link in the description. Please like and subscribe. 